to me, and the guy is twist yours. Mini. Okay, so. No referee, go to for me. Okay, so. Might be back here. Pop up with your knee. And sometimes just coming down on this. Some guys are not flexible, they'll tap out just here. He might spin out and go to guard. Cool, thanks for the takedown. Take a look down. Go down here on the knee. Maybe it's not fair. Sometimes I can tap the guy just with my chip <laughs> So it's Achilles here, I can just look. Yeah, I'm stretching that out. Okay. So I told you I like, I like uh, bottom knee in the hole, but sometimes I'm behind the guy. So bump and get here is just a good control position. Because also guys, he can't spin a knee bar, he can't roll a knee bar from here. Because I'm not getting lazy and getting put in on him here. So there's no rolling knee bar. So this is a leg staple position. Okay, and again, guys, if you know how to really put your weight with my shin, you might tap him out. If I don't, watch this. Now, I can toe hold him a bunch of different ways. Okay, you're a little too stiff. Feel me. <laughs> but it's a good control position. So just know this leg staple position is a good control position. Because Phil would probably roll here and see if he could pull a triangle off the roll. Right? When are you trying to like see what you end up with? If I screw up, they'll maybe roll a knee bar me. Okay, don't screw up. Here, break this elbow down. Here, get that in there. Now, boom. That's just learning how to put your body weight. Back here. So, okay, now look. I'll grab those toes. There's a toe hold. Maybe he's out here a little bit more. So I can pull this way, steer the that way. I can drop my weight and pull up that way. So these are just very efficient leg locks. Okay, so that's number one. So depending, some guys, I've had other guys' foot go way out that way. So I can pull straight up, I can pull sideways, whatever. The fulcrum is my shin on the back of his Achilles, like stepping on it. And if I had a boot on the street, break it, okay? So I can pull this way up, I can turn this way. I've even had some guys go this way and I can, I can go out and break it. I don't care which way he's going to break as long as I can break it, right? It can break straight, it can break steering wheel this way, it can mm. steering wheel this way. It's kind of a great way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, take this one. Okay. Also, I can, I, we just did Iowa ride, right? What Iowa ride is instead of that staple, I'm putting the foot in between. Sometimes he's so tight, I don't get that unless I start chopping this elbow, bumping with the knee, breaking down, and then I got it in. Okay. Covering his hips. I'm staying on top. Suck this up, put it in my knee pit. Mm. Oh, look at that. What about this one? That one's worse, right? What about this way? Straight, this, this. Okay, so I got all those. Probably not allowed at white belt. That's more, I guess mechanically it's a toe hold, really. I call it a toe pull, but mechanically it's kind of a toe hold. So toe pull. I can also geisha in there. We'll do that later. So watch this. I can foot, fold this foot and make him my nice little Japanese girl. Because that's what I like. Okay, so now I can bump him. And this is the weird thing I did. I'm not going to say it's high percentage. I'm just going to say it's different. And I did it on this foot, but I realized if I got good control of my knee pit, I realized I have good control over him. If he tries to roll, I'm ending up in half guard. We're not ending up in full guard. He's not going to try anything. We're in half guard. Thank you, Phil. So, bump him forward and watch this. I come underneath. Just by gable gripping, biomechanically this should be allowed. This is actually an ankle lock. This is the same as a straight ankle lock. This is going on his Achilles, and I'm flexing his foot like you do in your armpit. So really, I'm in here. And even if I didn't get this full roll out because you're a black belt in Jiu Jitsu, oh, okay, thank you. So a lot of my submissions, I get you, awesome. I don't get you, I'm hurting you. I'm riding you with body weight, and I'm making you give me position. Instead of me always having to wrestle in position, thanks for the takedown, Phil. And wait, I'm half past your guard? Because you didn't want to get ankle blocked. You had a decision to make. Does that make sense? Passing and positions, if you, your submission should open up. Your submission attempts should open up. So one more time. We got this one, whoop. 
and he might roll, but I'm not getting knee barred, and I'm ending up at half guard. Four, I can pick, come in here, boom here, here, elbow control, C grip, whatever, I can cross face him here, and I will ride him up here. Boom, grab this in the knee pit, oh yeah! I feel pretty good here, because look, it's in my knee pit, okay? I have full control over him now, his cross face, and here. His only choice is to roll in this direction. Do you feel like you can get a leg lock or anything on me? I'm not really like hanging out in between, not mindful of my legs. Okay, I could even I will ride him to that arm triangle. And I had the cross face, so nice shoulder grab here and here. But before, oh. Do the same thing on your side. Uh, I can't reach it for that kind of thing. This is just simple. Because I can, I can drop my weight. I can even get it deeper and then it's even worse. Up, away, towards. Most people you'll probably get um, like a like a toll, figure four toll. This way most people. Big, big two. Not allowed in grappling. This one, guys, wrist here. I'm not saying it's high percentage, but even if it fails, roll, roll as I'm putting pressure. Oh wow, I'm catching to this, I still got it. Or, I put pressure, he kicks out. Thank you for the mount position, four points. You got his arm locked in too. Does that make sense how I'm using submissions and breaking down a guy? Guys, wrestling and jujitsu. It's not wrestling or jujitsu. It's not jujitsu or catch wrestling. If it works, it works. Don't only control your body, control the other man's body and make him move where you want him to move. If I put him in submission threat, he'll move where his instincts are. Well, I'm gonna go to my back and get safety. But you're not getting safety in full guard. That would give me trouble and waste my energy. I'm getting safety by being in your half guard or passing your guard, or I'm on a weird ankle, toe, hold, thingy, boom, you stretch it out, I go to mount. Three leg locks. First one's simple, it's over the top. Next one's I will ride in the knee pit here, and then you also dive for Mechanically, an ankle lock, which should be allowed, I don't know. Try it out. Ready, one, two, three, four. 